Hey everyone, welcome to a special unboxing. This time around we have the, I'm gonna say this wrong, but the Atelier Ryza 3 Premium Box. This is the PS5 version. This is the third of the series. I've beaten the first one. I have the second one, special edition, that I've played a little bit of. Uh, this one just came out and I'll take a look at this premium box and you can all enjoy the beautiful thighs of Ryza along with me here. This is actually a pretty fun game. Um, it's a little repetitive, but it's got some great art and it's just super cute and just a fun little game. Um, this is a very popular character. There's a lot of uh, statues and figurines of her. And let's dive right in here. I probably paid a little bit over $100 for this thing. And is it already missing something? That would be amazing if it was. Nope, here it is. The little acrylic keychain. Let's look at that real quick. So I think most of the stuff in this is in Japanese. Like I think there's an art book that's probably in Japanese. I have the regular art book for the first two games that are in Japanese. I think they're coming out uh, in English this year. And for some reason I'm having trouble opening this. There we go. I generally don't buy a lot of acrylic standees. Um, I'm often very tempted. This isn't a standee, it is a keychain, but I can't imagine using this as a keychain because it would break instantly. So that's fun. It's got the little keychain piece here. Of course, we've got the game, which I'll dive into in a minute. And then I think this is, yeah, I got a code, a code for the DLC, a Marine look. So obviously I'm not gonna show that to you because the code is on the back of this thing. Um, I'll go ahead and open up the game while I have it in my hand here. I wanna say this came with a season pass, hopefully. Like I said, this was over $100. These collector's editions usually sell out, although I haven't checked, maybe they still have them. And yeah, there's a quote unquote manual in here. I don't know, you scan the manual for this, but it is just a, as usual, just a dumb printout. And then on the inside, we've got not necessarily a reverse cover, but we have a different piece of art here. And then the disc, obviously. I really need to play the second one so that I can play this one, because I'm not about to play this one first. And yep, here we go. We've got a art book. I do not have enough room here to show it, but I will attempt to try. I'm not gonna go through each page, but I will quickly flip through it because it has does have spoilers, I would imagine. And yeah, it is all in Japanese, of course. And yeah, I... Uh, Really, like I said, I dig the, I dig this game. It's a, like I said, it's a pretty fun game and the art is really nice as you probably saw. Moving right along, we have a, let's see, I think this is a clear file. I think each version of this game came with a special clear file. Um, the clear file is basically just like a folder. I think there's two actually. Clear files are pretty popular in Japan. Um, not sure why, probably for school kids, but it's just a very flimsy thing to hold papers. But it's pretty inexpensive and it's got really nice art usually. I have like an, I have an Evangelion one I got from the Evangelion store when I was in Japan. Three of them actually. And then we got some nice art of the characters of the game. At least on this one, there's art on both sides. So that's fun as well. And we have a cloth, uh, 
whatever this thing is called, like a banner that I'm not gonna take out because it is basically the same art as this uh, key art here. So yeah, that's it. That is the premium box. I gotta admit, a little lackluster, like this art book's pretty thin. Um, I always expect maybe a bit thicker art book, but at least it has all the characters in it, some cool turnarounds, and then this, yeah, this key art here is everywhere. So yeah, uh, sorry that was pretty quick. Sorry I sounded kind of disappointed. I'm not really disappointed. I just wanted the game actually, but I like getting these collector's editions. Let me know what you thought of this collector's edition. Do you like this game? Did you get this game? Let me know what you think of this series and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks everybody.